girls and guys of YouTube. This is a quick little tiny dinky review. I didn't get any of these products for free, I had to buy them all myself. It's my own personal opinion, I understand if you think that these products are brilliant and whatever. But um, some are good, some are bad, blah 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 blah. My first product is Fudge Skyscraper Hairspray. I don't know if they still do this, I've had mine for about two years. Um, I got it from a hair salon that I used to work at. and. I love it, it's uh, got a hold factor of 6, I love the smell, it doesn't get stuck in your throat like most hairsprays do, it smells quite fudgy, which is obviously what you want, and um, I like it. So my second product is got to be Guardian Angel Heat Protector Spray, I love, 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 love the smell of this. As for heat protecting. I don't really notice the difference between using a heat protector spray and not using a heat protector spray anyway. So I don't really notice a difference, but it does make my hair smell fantastic and I do love this, so get it. Um, my next product is a tool, more than a product. Um, it is the Lee Stafford My Big Fat Tong. Now, this might be good if my hair was longer. But because my hair comes to about here, roughly, it doesn't seem to want to curl as good. You can already see that this side is just dropping out already, no matter how much hairspray I use. This side isn't so bad, but this this is just awful. Um, I don't know whether it's because my hair's too long or because the barrel's too big. I went for a 50mm barrel because I thought... If I went for a smaller one, it would make my hair look too curly. So if I got this one, it would be a nice soft wave, like what this is. But it doesn't really work for me. I don't know whether that's because my hair's too thick or because my hair's too short for now. It might work better if I had longer hair. Um, I mean, it's good, but I have to sort of like curl my hair up afterwards. So after I've curled it, I've then got to sort of do that and put it in a clip for it to actually stay in a curl afterwards otherwise it just does this and that that is just awful really I mean it's not too bad but I don't know it's a lot of hassle and I wanted one that wasn't going to be so much hassle because the other curling iron I've got is too small and my hair keeps getting stuck in it and my hair is too long for the barrel to actually go all the way around the hair, I have to do it in sections. But what can you do, eh? I guess I will just have to go back to curling it with my straighteners for now. But um, if anybody else out there has this product then let me know how you get on with it, how long your hair is and or do a video response, let me see how long your hair is, how well it works for you and what tips and techniques you use to be able to actually get this thing to work properly without having to curl your hair up in a loop afterwards. So, um, I've done quite a lot of videos so far that need editing and shit, so I will get on that as soon as I can. But it just takes so long and I can't be bothered. But I've got loads of videos up and running so I probably won't do some videos for a while unless it's like 100% important. So I'll spread them out over a few weeks or others. So ciao 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 TTFN, have a nice day and this weather is beautiful so go out, get a tan, which I can't get. Get a tan for me because I don't tan. So go get a tan and 